Good morning, everybody. It's Robin here. Welcome to my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks for joining me for your daily tarot card reading. It looks like you're going to have a really powerful week. Like some of them are not so hot and some of them you make tremendous strides. And it looks like this is going to be one of those weeks where you're really on an upswing. Um, so guys, this is going to be for Wednesday, September 8th. And the deck I use for Wednesdays is the Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition. Um, this is for all zodiac signs. I'm just going to give you my regular preamble and then we'll watch uh, launch right into the reading. Um, all zodiac signs, love and gratitude for being here, guys. I really do appreciate you so much. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, other than that, I hope you all are doing great. And let's see what the cards have to say for today. And I'm already being pushed into thinking about the Butterfly Oracle reading for tomorrow. I don't know why. That doesn't usually happen to me. That's strange. Okay, so let's see why that's happening. I have my, my spirit guides around me and they give me flashes of insight. And that's what also enables me to read the cards. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> let's get going instead of just talking about it. So this is a lovely card. There could be some sort of, like I'm seeing a cause to dress up and maybe like something a little bit elegant. Um, I don't know what Lacey's staring at off into the corner, but if you saw yesterday's spider incident, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... She was of no help at all. Um, so <laughs> we'll push through. So <clears throat> hanging out with friends, you know, really beautiful energy here. Having an opportunity to do something nice. Uh, even if it's at home, you guys, this could be, you know, being surprised by a roommate or your partner. Um, they're going to have a dinner ready for you or they're going to take you for a nice drive and maybe some takeout or something, you know, could be just unexpected company, which I loathe droppers in. OK, call first. <laughs> Anyone else <laughs> like make an appointment? Am I, I might just be sitting here, but still I'm swamped, <laughs> you know. So anyway, expect an invitation to really... You could put on something nice. You could put on some cosmetics. I don't, whatever gender you are, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, put on your nice new shoes. Uh, maybe something that you bought with yourself uh, from the money that you manifested yesterday. Cause for celebration because of that big, huge thing that you manifested yesterday. That sort of self-awareness that came over top of you. That's the cause for celebration. I love that with the Three of Cups. This is somebody that you just vibe with and you could talk with forever. Somebody very important to you. Okay, so if you're not in a region um, where you can actually talk to this, this person in person, maybe you could do a nice like FaceTime coffee date or FaceTime dinner date, but you can expect that. You can expect some sort of a social invitation. Um, and the other person is going to do all the work, which is amazing. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> so let's have another card here. Yes, you're celebrating your accomplishment. Okay, because I pulled the world card. Um this means that you've completed a cycle. This means that you have successfully accomplished something that you have been working super hard at. And we saw that present in yesterday's tarot card reading where you're coming into this new age of self-awareness and ability to manifest. So someone else has noticed and this has got to be somebody that shares your own sort of beliefs on the universe you know if you ever talk to somebody about um your belief system say if you're a tarot card reader or you're deeply spiritual or <clears throat> you have the ability to communicate with people on the other side of the veil like whatever it is that makes you super weird but lovable and you look at people and they're like you know they just glaze over this is not that person. This is somebody that totally gets you. This is the person that you could go ahead and talk to about whatever it is that you want to talk to. And like, yeah, that's super cool. 
and they're not jealous of your next steps. They're not jealous of what you've accomplished. This is somebody that would genuinely want to take out their pom-poms and, you know, do a little dance for you, but maybe they're not a very good cheerleader. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to write that down. So maybe they're not a very good cheerleader, but they're a really good partner or they're a really good friend or they're a very good support system. And they're going to show that to you by saying, I'm so proud of you and I wanted to do something really nice for you. You know, get your best dress on or, you know, let's do something different. So I love that type of surprise thing. Um, I mean, properly scheduled. <laughs> Uh, I'm an OCD Aries. Um, so anyway, I mean, this is going to be really fun. It's going to be really nice. Lots of good communication. Um, there might even be a glass of wine. And you know what? I've got this card with the four of wands that is saying it's time to celebrate. And ooh, this is very fascinating, too. For those of you that are single, it doesn't even matter if you're single. Um, like whatever your relationship status, this could be the sign of an incoming uh romantic I got the word affair but like not in the sense of anything sorted like something um permanent that you've been waiting for you know there is a diamond ring in the middle of the four of wands here so there's something to celebrate so I'm seeing incoming romance for those of you that are open to it I'm seeing an engagement or a proposal for those of you that are, you know, you've been together for a significant amount of time and you could be wondering, hello, where's my ring already? Um, like Charlotte on Sex and the City, set the date, <laughs> set the date. If you haven't watched Sex and the City, hello. Um, <clears throat> for those of you that have been together for any amount of time, it could just be, um, something to commemorate how amazing you are so lots of celebration going on here we've got the three of cups we've got the world card this is going to be like a really <clears throat> like a big day to remember you know um so this is going to be a super important day and i love that because it applies to everybody's situation uh what i'm seeing here you know so if you end up getting engaged today, you guys, or you meet the love of your life today, or you finally just get the guts to ask them out, because sometimes it takes people years to confess their love because they're afraid of what is that other person going to say. But uh, I, I get a lot of quotes for movies. It's that movie Robin Hood, you guys, but the Disney movie Robin Hood, um, where one of the characters says, faint heart never won fair lady and i love that movie i used to watch it with my kids all the time <sighs> wow that was a big stream of information so this is your sign if you've had a crush on somebody for a long time but you just can't work up the nerve it's time to just spit it out you know just get it over with they probably feel the same way I've been seeing lots of signs all around me, um, you know, I consider the signs to be for you guys. I don't really take them personally. It's like time to make the first move, you know? So if it's time for you to make the first move, then make the first move, you know? Um, if you're planning a proposal, go ahead and do it, you know? Don't wait for another day. Don't wait for another special day because today is the special day. And it is going to be a special day. We're seeing celebration, accomplishment, and vibing with your tribe. I feel like I need to take that card and this card, okay? So we have the moon sign, which is like using your intuition and finding this really beautiful balance. You can see the pillars in the background. It's talking about a deep understanding and knowing and balance and feeling completely comfortable with somebody um, there is also the rising opportunity of psychic ability coming in here. So if you're feeling like you have a little bit of a hunch that something is going on, um, you're probably right. And I love this card here, you guys, because I pulled the Eight of Swords. So you could have just been... Like where I was saying before, like make the first move, just go ahead and propose, like do something 
um, out of character, like really push yourself forward. It's because you're protecting your heart here with the Eight of Swords. You don't have to anymore. This person is a really good match. Even if it's something like saying, I'd really like to be a better friend to you. Um, you know, some people seem really unapproachable, but they're not. You know, some people just have that resting bee face and I'm the queen of that. Um, I have very unapproachable face if I'm in the mood for it, but that's just my face. <laughs> it's just my face. So don't let that put you off or use it as a reason to not be brave and move forward, okay? Because you can see with the star surrounded by all these eight swords, you are protecting yourself, but there's no need to do that anymore because your offer will be accepted and if you're having that hunch that there's an offer coming in you be right okay i'm gonna go guys love and light bye i'm still here <laughs> hold on